Welcome back on this Friday. Glad that you're joining with us as we look at 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 1 through 5. Paul, in the last, uh, in chapter 1, focused on using uh, some contrast to show the difference between the wisdom of the world and the wisdom of God and showing how God's wisdom is greater. He then used the example of the Corinthians to show of how God's wisdom was shown among them. And today he's going to be using a personal example of himself. Chapter 2, verse 1. And I, when I came to you, brothers, did not come proclaiming to you the testimony of God with lofty speech or wisdom. For I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and much trembling, and my speech and my message were not implausible words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power, so that your faith might not rest in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. When Paul came to Corinth, he came from Athens. And as he spoke there, he spoke a little bit more with what we might say, or he might say, lofty speech. Remember, this is the speech that he gave in the Areopagus to the philosophers of the age, focusing on the altar of the unknown God. It was very good. A, a, a very lofty speech in many ways, but again, pointing to Christ. In Corinth, it seems like Paul changed his, his tactics a little bit. The Corinthians were different from the people in Athens. The, the people in Athens were, in many ways, very phil philosophical. Here, it was a different focus. And his full focus was on Jesus Christ and Christ crucified. He says that he came in weakness, in fear, and in trembling. Now, I have a hard time thinking of Paul coming to anyone in fear, trembling, and weakness um, because of what we see of Paul and his boldness to speak to Peter or to other people of that gospel message, even at the threat of his own life. But he was showing that it was not his wisdom um, fear and trembling uh, show that the wisdom is not from him, but from another, per uh, another part. The purpose is to show that it's not about me, Paul, he's saying. It's not about my power, but it's about God and his power and his work through his spirit in your life. You see, this ties all the way back to that initial argument that he was making, that the people said that I am following a follower of Paul, I am a follower of, of, of uh, Cephas or Apollos or whatever. He says that it's not about us once again. He says it's about the one we follow. It's not about man, but it's about God and his son, Jesus Christ, that he sent into this world. Trust in him. Don't trust in the things of the world. Follow his guiding. Follow his peace. So how does this apply to us? As I mentioned earlier, don't focus on the person and the message. They are only the messenger, whether at worship or other places. Focus on the message, what God is doing in your life. Realize that we don't follow a man. We follow a man, God, Jesus Christ, and his Father for the forgiveness of all of our sins and the promise of a life forever. Trust in him. Follow him always. Amen. Go in peace. We'll see you again on Monday.